feel like I can't talk <laughs> or smile. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylee if you didn't know. So I'm really excited about this one mainly because it's the first tutorial tutorial that I've ever done for Halloween. But yeah, my initial idea was to do a ventriloquist doll inspired makeup. Um, but as I started, it turned into a skeleton and I thought it looked cool. I was almost going to roll with it. And then I decided, no, I'm going to go with my original idea because I love, you know, color. I wanted to make it more colorful. So, um, if you wanted to do a skull makeup look, uh, you definitely could because about halfway through this tutorial, that's pretty much what I did. And then, you know, I switched it up a little bit and turned it back into the doll makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I, um... I think I might do this for Halloween, I don't know, I re I'm really liking it and it was really fun to do. If you want more Halloween tutorials, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I hope you guys enjoy this, I really hope you do. Definitely leave your comments below, let me know what you think, if you're going to try this out, send me pictures, I'd love to see them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, so let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is apply a base all over your face. This is white cream makeup. I got it for 97 cents at my local Halloween store called Spirit. And um, at first I didn't know exactly how to use this. I tried some different methods like my fingers, which doesn't work as well because it doesn't blend into the face. Um, just looks kind of splotchy, but after a while I finally figured it out. You really want to use a sponge for this type of makeup and you want to apply it in layers. So I use really thin layers one at a time all over my face, wait, waited for it to dry. And then I went ahead and applied another layer right over top of that, wait for it to dry and do it again and again and again. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many layers I used, but I know it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to make my face completely white. And the sponge that I'm using is from Sephora. It's called the Beauty Blender sponge, but you can just get one similar to this um, in different shapes at the drugstore for very cheap. There's like a pack of them that is like under $5 that would work well for this too. So yeah, just go ahead and pack your face with white cream makeup and make it look super white. And once you got that down, I definitely suggest not smiling because it will crack. Just wait for the last layer to completely dry and try not to laugh. And the next thing you want to do is prime your lids. And I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which you can also get at Sephora. This just happens to be my favorite one. You can use whatever you like, but this is going to hold the eyeshadows that we're putting on for the entire night so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Okay, so next we're gonna take a black eyeliner. This is a liquid liner from L'Oreal and a smudger brush. And I'm going to pack this on the lid to form a cat eye shape. To do that, all you have to do is start at the lash line with the black liner and work your way towards the crease. And once you get there, you want to extend the liner out past the eye towards the end of your eyebrow. Just a little disclaimer, be careful not to rest your hand or your fingers on your face because it will make the makeup come off and I spent the whole rest of the night while I was doing this makeup trying to fix that uh, little mistake above my lips, so just be careful. Now you want to search your makeup collection for a black eyeshadow with a little bit of shimmer to it. I used Black Market from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. Pack this on top of the eyeliner so that it doesn't crease and also to make it look more black. Now using a pointed blending brush, you want to blend this all the way up to the eyebrow and just make sure that it's a smooth gradient, like a nice transition between the super black color on the lid to the eyebrow. So if you need to, you can use a gray eyeshadow in between just so that it blends better. But basically you don't want any harsh lines, just a nice gradient from the lid to the eyebrow. Then to create a shadow on the nose, just go ahead and drag whatever is left on the brush down the sides. Um, don't pick up any additional color, just drag it down. With a black eyeliner pencil, this one is from e.l.f., line your waterline and also your lower lash line.
go ahead and pack that same eyeshadow you used on your upper lid onto the lower lash line with the smudger brush and then use the blending brush to blend it all out. Here's where I went a little crazy blending and I blended a little bit too much and made it look like really big dark under eye circles just be sure not to blend too far down with that black eyeshadow because then you're just gonna have to do an additional step of fixing it later on moving on to the eyebrows go back into that same black eyeliner you used before and I'm taking a really small brush and just filling out my eyebrows how I want them I'm making them really exaggerated and long and pointed you can draw them in however you guys like I just followed sort of my natural brow right until the arch and then I extended it a little bit further and make sure to draw a black line down each side of the nose to make the contour look a little bit more dramatic you're gonna need two pairs of lashes one that are really extreme and long and crazy and another pair that is more natural looking I got my set of lashes from Spirit, the Halloween store that I went to, um, and I'm using the Revlon Lash Adhesive Glue to stick these on. So what you want to do is put the natural looking lashes on the top lash line and the crazy looking ones on the bottom lash line. You're probably thinking, Kaylee, why do you do that? It's because it makes you look crazy. Because you wouldn't normally see people walking around like that. It basically just makes your eyes look bigger and wider. To make the lashes blend in better, use the black eyeliner with a small brush and just fill in that, that little area there. And then I kind of extended it out too to give more of a cat eye effect. This is where I'm fixing my mistake from before where I dragged the black eyeshadow down way too far. And I'm just going over with a few layers of that white cream makeup. So the next like minute or so of footage, I don't know what the heck I was doing, um, but <laughs> I have to explain it anyway because otherwise you're gonna wonder why it's there. Um, I basically took the color Rapture, which is like a purpley gray eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Vice palette and started blending it underneath of my cheekbone to contour out the face. And then I picked up this super pink eyeshadow called Noise and pretty much started freestyling and just like randomly putting it in places. I really liked where I put it though here, which is right in the crease of my eye. It added a little more color to the look so it wasn't so black. But here's where I was going a little too crazy with it <laughs> and I decided to put it on my cheekbones for some reason. And I didn't like that, so mistake was covered Thanks to my NYX cream blush, you want to take a really super pink blush that has a lot of pigment to it like this one and pat it right on the apples of the cheeks and then make sure to blend it out. Next take a darker pink color. This is a lip pencil called Soar by MAC and just create a darker shadow right underneath of the cheekbone. And right here, I'm just kind of touching up underneath of the eye area with the white cream makeup. And I got it a little bit on my lashes when I did this, at, on the end of the lashes, and I kind of liked the way it looked, so I just left it there. And last but not least is lips. So using that sponge again and the white cream makeup, you want to blot it right on the edges of the lips. Taking a red lip pencil, outline the shape of your lips first, and then go ahead and fill them in. I was kind of referencing like a heart shape but you guys can do whatever you want right over top of that you want to use a red lipstick that has a lot of shine to it so that it makes the lips pop this one is a jumbo pencil lipstick from NYX To complete the ventriloquist doll look, you want to take a black pencil and draw a line from the edge of your lips to the bottom of your chin and two circles on either side of that. And then using a black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, just fill in the circles and the lines. And now you have created that uh, attached jaw, like with the screws type of look. 
yeah <laughs> so that is it for the completed look guys really hope you enjoyed it if you decide to redo it definitely give me pictures send them to me on my facebook twitter instagram anything like that if you have any requests for my next halloween tutorial definitely put it in the comments below don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and also check out our daily vlog channel matt and kaylee so yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye and happy halloween Thank you.